Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just signed the one executive order liberals have feared since his election in. With everyone focused on an attention-seeking adult film star and a disgraced former FBI director, President Donald Trump just signed the one executive order that liberals have feared since the day he was elected. You're going to love this. With the American sheeple foaming at the mouth over Stormy Daniels and James Comey, President Donald Trump just reformed welfare. He has signed an executive order to reduce poverty in America by promoting opportunity and economic mobility and aims to do so by addressing the challenges of populations that may particularly struggle to find and maintain employment, including single parents, formerly incarcerated individuals, the homeless, substance abusers, individuals with disabilities and disconnected youth. While bipartisan welfare reform enacted in 1996 was a step toward eliminating the economic stagnation and social harm that can result from long-term government dependence, the welfare system still traps many recipients, especially children, in poverty and is in need of further reform and modernization in order to increase self-sufficiency, well-being, and economic mobility, states the executive order reducing poverty in America by promoting opportunity and economic mobility. Indeed. President Bill Clinton's Welfare Reform Act of 1996, which he negotiated with then-Speaker Newt Gingrich, was a substantial step in the right direction. At the time, the left claimed that people would starve. They didn't. Instead, many able-bodied individuals who once relied on a government check found jobs and started earning a paycheck. Between 1996 and 2000, the employment rate for single mothers increased from 63 percent to 76 percent according to the nonpartisan Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. In addition, Fox News reports that the overall poverty rate has declined over the last half-century. However, there is still work to be done, and President Donald Trump is diligently fulfilling one of his key campaign promises, namely, to reform a welfare system which too often rewards laziness and perpetuates the cycle of government dependence which leads to generational poverty. The press release for the president's new executive order states that, in 2017, the federal government spent more than $700 million on low-income assistance. It notes that since modern welfare began, during the administration of Franklin Roosevelt, the system has become a large bureaucracy with little incentive for people to look for work. His order aims to fix that. Trump is already making headway with unemployment numbers the lowest they've been in 17 years, most notably among black Americans, and food stamp participation plummeting. The number of food stamp dependent Americans hit a six year low in President Donald Trump's first year in office, reflecting an improving economy and falling unemployment, according to a U.S. Agriculture Department USDA, report. An average of 42.2 million Americans participated in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, program in 2017, which is an 11 percent decrease from 2013, when a record number of people used food stamps, according to USDA. Federal spending for SNAP totaled $68.0 billion or 4% less than in the previous fiscal of year, USDA reported. This was also 15% less than the historical high of $79.9 billion set in FI 2013. Source, The Daily Caller. Conservatives measure success not by how many people receive government assistance, but by how many don't. This is one of the key differences between those on the right and their leftist counterparts. Democrats have labeled themselves the party of the people mainly by giving away free stuff in exchange for votes. Republicans, however, know that none of these handouts are actually free. Someone is paying for them and that someone happens to be the hard-working American citizen who would rather put in a 10-hour day at the factory than live on the dole. Moreover, conservatives realize that helping people become independent of the government is real compassion. By contrast, ensuring that entire demographics are beholden to a certain political party for their welfare checks is modern-day slavery. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.